Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, but a slightly different video today. Uh, this is one of my Shipbuilding 101 series, and um, today I wanted to talk about explosives and shells. So, when you're designing a ship, obviously explosives and shells are very, very important, but uh, it's not immediately obvious um, what the differences are between the various shells and explosive types. So it's just a very quick tutorial to go through um, how you can set up your guns in Ultimate Admiral and um, how choosing between these two buttons, the standard shells and the, um, and the shell type or the explosive type is really, really important and can dramatically change the type of ship that you've got. So I'm just going to slap down um, a fairly typical battleship armament a Mark IV 15 inch triple turret. Um, and I'm just gonna talk through some of the changes that that makes to the ship. Now, one of the things you need to take into account when you're looking at shells and explosives is your flash fire chance, which is here. Um, this is changed dramatically by what shell types you use. It is also changed by your um, barbette armor and your uh, citadel. So if you're going with all or nothing and a Barbette 4 um, and Lidite to standard shells, you have a 9% flash fire chance, for instance. Anyway, let's first talk through the different shell types. So standard shells are, I think, available all the way through the game. Light shells as well are an option pretty much from the start of the game. Heavy and super heavy unlock later on. So standard shells offer you absolutely no differences whatsoever. If you go down to light shells, you uh, reduce your gun reload time. So this thing, instead of reloading in 55.6 seconds, will reload in 50.8 seconds. So if you want fast firing guns, then light shells is a possibility. They they're lighter by 30%. They have an increased muzzle velocity, so they fly faster, um, meaning they will hit the target in less time. And they reduce your ammo detonation chance, flash fire chance, explosion chance, and so on. All of which is good. However, that does come at the cost of range, penetration, and damage. So, light shells, um, generally speaking, they're a, they're a pretty specialized thing. Um, if you are building a ship specifically where you know that you want fast firing guns, that you don't need to deal a lot of damage, you just need to get hits in quickly and you want to save on your your weight and things then we have heavy and super heavy shells which are two different versions of the same thing which basically do the opposite they slow down your reload time they increase your range and your penetration so you're better able to deal with armored targets and they flat increase your damage uh, by 10 percent for heavy or 20 for super heavy shells and then on top of that you get he shell damage buffs um, meaning that these things are particularly effective if you want to build very, very nasty high explosive um, shells to completely obliterate your enemies, but they do also significantly buff AP shells. At the cost of, um, as well as being heavy and, and making your gun slower to reload, uh, they do reduce your muzzle velocity, meaning the shells will take a little bit longer to reach their target, and as well, the ammo detonation chance for your ship will increase. So currently it's 7% on the light shells to 15% with the super heavy shells. Then we have the explosive types. Now, not all of them are available at all time, um, at all times in the game, but I will go through them all because you can still see what they are. So right at the very start of the game, you get black powder. Black powder is just generally awful. Um, all it does is add to your hull weight, your shell weight, and reduce your muzzle velocity. All of them are bad. So you want to move away from this as quickly as possible. Uh, then you get kind of into the tier one stuff, which is gun cotton and ballastite. Um, gun cotton increases your damage and your muzzle velocity. Um, whereas ballastite increases your gun range. A little bit more so gun cotton's good for damage and um ballastite is better for range basically it also is slightly safer 
minus two and a half percent flash fire chance against the gun cotton's plus ten. Um, so gun cotton's a little bit more dangerous to use, um, but you get increased damage for that. Then we have Lidite 1, Lidite 2, Cordite 1, and Cordite 2, all of which are very, very similar. Lidite 1 and 2 give you mm, big damage buffs um, at the cost of shell penetration and the fact that your ship is quite likely to blow up. Um, Lidite 2, for instance, gives you well, pretty much 40% buff to your damage. Flat, 37.5%. That's on your AP shells as well. But those AP shells have 20% less penetration. So it's generally better for an HE focused build. Um, however, that plus 40% flash fire chance is, is pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Cordite 1 and 2 are also very similar to the Lidites. Um, however, what you sacrifice with Cordite rather than just flat penetration, you sacrifice a bit of range and a bit of penetration for less damage than Cordite, uh, than Lidite, sorry. Um, you lose a bit of muzzle velocity, which you don't with Lidite, and you're still suffering, you know, flash fire chance, 27.5%, um, which is a little bit less, and Cordite 2 basically reduces the damage even further. Um, you don't lose as much shell penetration as Cordite 1, but you still have pretty high flash fire explosion chance. So... The Lidites and the Cordites are damage focused at the cost of um, your ship blowing up. Then you have White Powder. That gives you more range penetration and a little bit of damage. A little bit of muzzle velocity. And it's relatively safe to use. This is kind of your, I'd say, the most neutral um, one of the lot. Uh, then you have your TNT and your high TNT. Both of these are what I would call general purpose explosives. So they're very similar. They do give you a very nice hull weight uh, reduction, which can be useful in um, battleship builds especially. They give you a little bit of extra penetration, a little bit of extra damage, um, particularly HE shell damage. And they reduce your ammo detonation and flash fire chance by 2.5% uh, for high TNT or 5% for regular TNT. Um, both of these are pretty nice general purpose. They're, they're pretty good with both AP and HE rounds, arm penetrating and high explosive rounds. And the last one here is tube powder. This reduces your reload time and your range but it increases your penetration and your damage a little bit um, at the cost of, well, pretty much a little bit of muzzle velocity and your HE damage. So this is a kind of dedicated armor piercing round, but it does come with another very nice bonus, which is massive reduction on your ammo detonation flash and flash fire chance. So if you want to get um, still a pretty effective ship and the tooltip even mentions it you can go for tube powder light shells um the tube powder basically makes up for the light shells um in terms of the the penetration so you're able to have pretty low you're you're able to save weight and still have the same effectiveness but if you go for tube powder super heavy this is the best armor piercing setup you can get High TNT and TNT, to a lesser extent, are kind of your good all-rounders. And then if you're going for a pure HE damage build, I would suggest going with Lidite. Um, and I would, I generally don't use the White Powder or Cordites very much at all, um, because I, I, don't, I don't find them particularly effective. Tube Powder, basically, is White Powder, but better. Um, but you can still get good results with these explosives it's just they don't really offer quite as much um as 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 the others so generally if i'm going for an ap build i'll go tube powder general build i'll go for tnt or high tnt depending on which one's available um and if i'm going for an he build pure damage build i'll go for lidite 2 um so there we go, just a very simple explanation of the various explosives you get in the game and why you might want to pick one over the other. I hope that's been useful. 
and uh, I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.